Hey guys, Gerald Richardson here. So I wanted to give you an update of our Smithfield uh, project. Uh, do another walk around and show you what, what we've done so far to the house. And I'll give you, give you, give you guys a little bit more information on, on this project. Um, actually, let me start from the outside. <clears throat> so I don't know if you guys recall from my other video, this is a house that we bought at Smithfield. It's a, a three bedroom, one bath house. Um, it was actually on the market. Um, I did put an offer on it when it was on the market. Uh, my, uh, my initial offer wasn't accepted, but I did tell the, the listing agent at the time, say, hey, if, uh, if your contract falls through, just give me a call. I can close quick. And, uh, and lo, lo and behold, uh, she gave me a call about a month later, say that, that the other buyer couldn't close. And if, it, if I still want it, it was mine. So that's how we got the property. Um, again, this is a three bedroom, one bath house in Smithfield, North Carolina. Smithfield is one of the growing cities here in Johnson County. i um, seeing a lot of growth in this area. So that's why that's one of the reasons why I jumped on this house right away. Uh, initially, the plan was to flip it. Um, we did an ARV. I'll just give you a little bit about the numbers real quick. I bought the house for uh, 95,000. Um, an ARV at the repair value of this house is about 195. Um, our budget is anywhere between 30 to 50,000 in renovation. So that should give us a, a pretty good spread as far as, as a flip. So initially the plan was to flip it, but after looking at the house and looking at the, the growth that's going on in the area um, and looking at the, the increase in rental rates, we decided to um, burr it. I know I, I spoke about burr before in my other, vi other videos, but pretty much what burr is, start, it stands for B-R-R-R-R, -R 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 for R's. So B stands for buying it. R is for, uh, first R is for renovating it. Uh, second R is to rent it out. Third R is to refinance. And the last R is to repeat. So pretty much what you're doing, you're buying a house, you're re renovating it. After you're renovating it, you're renting it out to a buyer as a buy and hold. Uh, the rent from that will cover your costs um, of the house. So when you refinance it, you're, taking, you're pretty much taking cash back out of the house that you put into it, both the purchase and the renovation, have, it, have the rent cover the mortgage. Um, then you just repeat, you use the same money and just do, move on to the next property. So that's the plan with this property. Uh, the rent rate for this area, for this particular house, um, we were looking at anywhere between 1200 to 1500 per month. Um, so those, those are pretty much the numbers. Um, so let me show you the house real quick. All right, so from the front, you can see that we uh, pretty much did a landscaping, trim down the bushes, uh, we put a new roof on and new gutters. There's still some work that we need to do to the outside, such as, you know, with the these uh, rotted trim pieces on the side. Over here and, uh, and on the other side. Over here. Um, we put in orders for new windows. Unfortunately, due to COVID, it's gonna probably take a, about two months, if not more, for those windows to come in. So that, that's what sucks about this COVID so far with this particular project. Uh, so we're gonna wait on the windows. Um, in the meantime, we're gonna continue on with the project, with the renovation. Um, we spent a lot of time uh, doing trash out. So there's more trash in, inside the house, in the attic, and in the garage more than what we anticipated. You can see here's the dumpster over here. So that's a dumpster. This is our second dumpster, actually. So it's a dumpster of all the trash and the demo. We demo the kitchen and the bathroom. So that's what the, the dumpster looks like. It's already the second dust. The second dumpster is already full. Um, I know in the previous video I was mentioning about this uh, detached garage. So once we re remove all the the trash out of it, um, we're 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 trying to figure out what exactly what we want to do with this was. The option was to fix it up and continue to use it as a detached garage or assess it and if it's too much damage and if it's not worth, the value is not worth and fixing it back up, then we're just going to um, remove it, demo it and remove it. So we're actually leaning towards, uh, initially we were leaning toward keeping it, but now after removing the trash and taking a look inside, we are um, looking into... Uh, removing it, demoing it and removing it. So you can kind of see from that side, it's leaning a little bit to the right too. 
there was actually a spire here that it must uh, disappear. Hopefully I didn't walk through it. <laughs> All right, so, and this is what the back looks like. Like I said, we, uh, there was more trash in the garage and in the attic that we, uh, more than we, we anticipated, uh, ended up using two dumpsters to do the project. Um, again, we demoed the kitchen and the bathroom. We uh, put down the base coat of paint and kit and kilts inside. I'm gonna show that real quick, real shortly. Let's see what else we did on the outside. That's pretty much on the outside. Still a lot more work to do, but you know, we're still working it. So here's, let's take the inside. So the biggest thing we did on the inside was actually, we actually removed this wall. So I had a contractor come in, remove this wall, put a, uh, a girder across, be, being that it was a low bear um, wall. So we removed the wall, opened up the kitchen into the dining room. By planting up a beam, a supporting beam. You see, we demoed the kitchen. This is where the sink was. Here's the actual sink. We're gonna try to keep this and reuse the sink. So here was the sink with cabinets. Here's where the stove was. Actually, the stuff was over there, and this was the dishwasher. So you can see with the wall being out, there's a lot more room that we can work with now. So that was the biggest thing in, inside. Removing the wall, dim the kitchen, and putting the base coat of paint and kilts down. See, here's the, the other the bathroom. Let me show you the bathroom. So here's the bathroom. We demoed the bathroom. So when we uh, uh, removed the shower, we saw that there was a little bit more extensive damage, termite damage behind the wall. Um, you can see that the previous owner knew about it and they tried to um, cover up. We had a termite guy come out here pretty much assess it. He pretty much say that, that he, there was no existing termites, um, but he do suggest that we, uh, once we're done with the with the repairs, have them come back out here and, um, you know, uh, have them come back out here and um, we do, do another uh, inspection and treatment. Look at somebody took a piss in the toilet. All right, let's see, moving on. There's the bedroom one, two, and over here's the third one. So here's the shower pan. We're gonna probably try, well actually we're gonna put a bathtub. So in the, in the bathroom, initially there was a shower, the shower, shower pan was inside but we plan on uh, bringing in the bathtub, um, a tub insert kit, and, and put that in there. New, a new tub, new vanity, and of course a new, uh, new toilet. Let's see what else about this project. Uh, oh, so while we were, um, so initially what we were thinking about, so here's the basement. I won't go all the way up, but I'll show you. So here's the access to the basement. So, while, we're, while we were having all that trash removed from the basement, um, remove, having all the trash removed from, not the basement, from the attic, uh, we've, we saw that there was a lot of headspace in the attic uh, where, where potentially we could add another 800, if not more square footage to the house and possibly add another bathroom. So we were thinking about doing something like that on early on. Uh, we were thinking about adding the square footage, by, you know, adding the stair staircase and we're looking at adding a staircase um, over here to the right of the fireplace so I have a staircase go up along this, this side of the house and up to the second floor which right now is the attic um, and we were thinking about adding the half bath over here in this area in this area and adding the, and adding the bathroom upstairs so it would have been a uh, 
three bedroom or four bedroom, two and a half bath house. Um, currently it's at 1,500 square feet, so we add another 800, we'll push it into the 2,300 square foot. Um, so we were thinking about doing that initially, so we, had, we actually spoke to some contractors, received some bids, um, but ultimately we just we decided to just go ahead with our, with our original plan of uh, just doing the, the renovation with what, with what we have, number, number of bedrooms, one bath, and renting out. Um, then we may revisit, add in square footage, and add other bathrooms later on. Um, as as the area starts to um, grow some more, uh, it's where the the new ARV will justify the new added costs if we decide to add the square footage in the bathroom. But that's pretty much it with this project here in Smithfield. I just wanted to shoot this quick video and show you the show you the progress and show what we got going on. All right, if you guys have any questions, um, let me know. Um, comment below and I'll get back to you guys. Um, and if you know, if you haven't already, please like, subscribe to my channel, if this is on YouTube, and, uh, and let me know how things are going, or let me know if you, have, if you guys have any questions. All right, talk to you later, bye.